First of all, I'd just like to welcome you to Liverpool Football Club. My first question to you is, what do you hope to bring to Liverpool Football Club? So, um, um, I'd like to start off and just say uh, I'm very privileged to have this um, to have this opportunity in my life. I've always dreamed of this moment. From a young kid, I've always had the dream of managing Liverpool Football Club and uh, my dream came true. The little boy inside of me was crying out to be Liverpool manager and that's what happened. As soon as Ian Hare gave me that phone call, I knew, I knew straight away that this was a job for me. I want to make the fans happy. I want to bring success to the club. We've been more than 22 years for the last just Premier League title and I hope that I'm the right man to bring that to the club. I would love to be the legendary manager that when he leaves his post, he leaves a legacy. I'll leave no stone unturned in my quest. I want to turn Liverpool into a bastion of invincibility. And after all guys, you can call me the normal one. Thank you, I need to get back to business and get straight to the training ground. My players are calling. And just to end off, the job is not going to be easy. But I'll do my utmost, my utmost best to bring a smile to Liverpool fans. Hope you guys enjoyed that small little skit there. That was actually quite fun to make, I'm not gonna lie, okay? I had quite a bit of fun there. I mean, like, I'm the local boss now, taking full control. And uh, welcome to my first ever gaming video. Like, it's quite exciting. I've been talking about this for quite a while now, like, been in the pipeworks for quite a while, trying to find the right software, etc. And I've got it, guys, it's happening. This is happening. And uh, please, God, I can do more gaming in the future. Like, I love gaming. And uh, I'm very passionate about FIFA, so hope you guys enjoy it. I've called myself Mr. Cop King, I'm South African, and uh, let's get going. So, uh, so basically, so, I mean, in terms of transfers, I've gone and sold a few, well, I want to sell a few players. So I've transfer listed five or six different players here. Yeah? So Thiago Lori, Lucas Leiva, Mamadou Sacco, Danny Ings, Milner and Minele. The likes of Kevin Stewart and, and the youngsters will get a bit of a run in my cup games. Those kind of uh, those kind of games to develop, I'll put them on training. I usually play the back three. Um, where, where, where is it? Usually a back three and uh, wide players. So basically, right now I, I like to have my tip should be a little bit faster than a Lovren. Okay, let's stop like that. Uh, Wijnaldum in the midfield for Lallana. Coutinho out there for Mane. Firmino for Milner, actually no, Mane for Firmino, and then uh, Milner out for Stage. Okay, that's the starting lineup I'm going for for now. So I'm still learning as this happens. So guys, please give me like some constructive criticism and feedback, you know, and give me some some tips to improve that kind of thing. Um, yeah, that's that's all I can really say. So in terms of transfers, let's start off. Okay, I love buying youth. I love buying youth, I love, I love buying players who, are, who I can develop and grow, you know, and uh, the first name on my team sheet, I love Dybala. Dybala is proper, so sick. Whether or not we can get him, that's another story. And the thing is, you have to get him early before he becomes like, shitload of money, right? So let's go offer him a bit of a 30, no, no, I will offer him 40, 42 million. And we'll start off with a, with a huge 42 million bid for, for Paolo Dybala. Um, the other strikers I want, I'm thinking of maybe like Mauro Cardi. So let's go Mauro Cardi as, as uh, that second option. But Mauro Cardi is an absolute doer, eh? Proper, proper doer. But he's a good striker and, uh, you know, and in world football, there aren't that many good strikers around at the moment. I'm not sure if you guys are going to like me for this ride, but let's actually bring back Fernando Torres. I mean, like, that would be quite a cool one. Fernando Torres back up top. But the thing is, by signing him, that could actually hamper the Vox chances. So maybe let's not do that, right? Let, okay, I won't do that actually. Stupid move, Brandon. Actually stupid move. Stupid, stupid move. Um, okay. I'll leave that strike and roll for now, right? The center midfield, there's only really one big option I like. That's William Carvalho. William Carvalho. Where's William? William Carvalho, great, great player. And the thing is you have to sign him as well when he's young and, and first season, otherwise he's gonna be worth a shitload of money. So getting for 25 million, hopefully that'd be a good deal for me, I think. I think it goes to like 87 or something like that, which would be a great, great signing for me. And uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do for now. Just just actually play it out, see what's happening, see what the market's, uh, see what the market's doing, and uh, you know, let's get going. Oh, sporting acceptance, straight away, 25 million. I'm going for that. 
And his wages are actually very cheap, surprisingly, which is good. Right, so five year contract, crucial, definitely gonna be starting ahead of Genie. And uh, okay, okay, a great, great start. Juventus, cheese, okay. Not what I was expecting, to be honest with you, at all. But let's maybe soften the deal a little bit. Let's throw in a bit of a, a Danny Ings. Um, see if I take my bait, okay? Let's uh, let's try this. Uh, Chitterly on Arnold, experimenting. Of course, you're gonna be playing in a few games. Cool shirt sales. Actually, I have no idea what these other like uh, like board expectations are. They're so stupid. So sim in our first match. Normal lineup there. We should win. Three 0 Great. Everyone to the own. Everyone can do what they want. You know, Mario Kart, 44 million. It's a lot more than I wanted. Let's go 27 million. First signing as Liverpool boss announcing William Carvalho. What a signing. 25 million pounds. Rising up to 25 million pounds. Unreal signing, to be honest with you. Straight into my first team. And I think he should take Genie's place, if I'm honest. Cool. Bench, we should probably sort out like, a, like, like another stage. Not really a problem now. But cool. The first signing done now, great signing, and I'm actually very, very happy with that because I think he can make me a lot of money in the future and he can actually leverage me to sign a lot bigger players, which is which is quite exciting. Um, Atletico Madrid, I'm going to go with a uh, probably a 1 0 loss, and that, that's what my prediction would be. Yeah, a 1 0 win, okay. Chance offer for Roberto Firmino, not happening, not for sale, reject for offers, and I think we just signed Paulo Dybala as well. Uh, you basically have an offer accepted. Paolo Di Bola, 42 million plus Danny Ings. What a signing. Another great signing by Liverpool. And uh, straight to Crucial, I think. Yeah, straight to Crucial. And uh, he'll be starting. So that's two signings already, pretty much. I mean, that's a good, good start to this window. A lot more transfers to be done, to be honest with you. Philippe Coutinho, not for sale at any cost. Uh, staying at Liverpool. Paolo Di Bola accepted. Okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm, I'm liking the starters window here. Yeah. Two great signings, two youngsters, and who are actually going to develop into very, very, very valuable players for Liverpool. Semi-finals versus Bayern Munich. Like the prim I mean, the preseason games are all about money for me. Like, I just hope that three no. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Daniel Sturridge, you can have him for uh, sixty-two million. Uh, let's go to San Mille. No, no, no. Let's go eight and a half. And we can't be greedy this time. Eight and a half million for San Mille. Let's hope that it actually goes now because we've got uh, we've got carriers and I and I played with carriers once before. He's actually very, very good. Um, so I'm actually quite excited to play with him. And for me, guys, kicking on the counter attack is huge. It's a huge, huge, huge element to my game, which you guys will hopefully see soon. Is I kick from uh, from hand. I kick from hand. And uh, that sets off my, my counter attack. So I like fast players up top where I can just break with nicely, very quickly there. Uh, okay, we lost in the final. Whatever, it's fine. Guys, actually, I'm going to end the first episode here just as I'm going to accept the offer for Simon Minnelli. Who do you guys want me to sign? Who do you guys want me to sell? All of that kind of thing. What formation do you think I should play? Who do you think should be starting up front? All these different things. Guys, also let me know if I'm doing anything wrong in my... I mean, my filming or, or in my editing, that kind of thing. Let me know. And let's go towards our squad just to end it off where we are right now. Paolo Ibarra, I think, has not been signed just yet. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. Oh, he has been signed. Okay, so with that being said, Roberto Firmino drops out wide. And uh, in comes Paolo Ibarra at striker. And uh, I'll catch you guys again for the second episode. Please let me know, guys, again in the comments who you guys want me to sign. And give it a huge thumbs up, guys. It's really important if you want me to do more of these type of videos. So let me know, guys. And uh, I'll catch you guys again for another video. Thanks for watching again. And uh, I'll see you soon. All right. See ya.